Well, we're following breaking news from overnight. A hit and run investigation in Greensboro is currently shutting down part of West Friendly Avenue. And this is happening between Radiance Drive and Westover Terrace. It's about a block from the campus of UNCG. And this is where we find our Victoria Lucas. She's live there this morning in Victoria. We've seen it's been a very active scene there behind you. Can you sort of walk us through what's happening now? Yeah, Christina and Jackie, police, police officials are on scene trying to figure out who hit and downed this utility pole right over here. You can see it is literally looks like it's broken in half after that car hit it. It's right next to the Texan Shirley's breakfast and lunch spot. Police say it was a black car that crashed into the pole, downing power lines onto the road. But when they arrived on scene, the car was empty and any suspects had run off. Police say there are no known injuries from the crash and Duke Energy is also on on scene now making repairs and drivers are asked to avoid this area if you can. So if you would normally come down through these intersections, here's your detour. Police are asking you to come down on Market Street instead. You see that downed utility pole right there. That car crashed into it. It's right into the Texan Shirley's right next to the Texan Shirley's breakfast and lunch spot. So we are live this morning in Greensboro. Victoria Lucas, WXAI 12 News. Thank you so much. We're also breaking overnight in Winston-Salem, a section of Silas Creek Parkway now shut down because of a water main break. This is happening between Miller Street and Lachland Avenue just in front of Forsyth Tech's campus. Police say there is ice on the road because of this and officers are diverting traffic, so avoid that area if you can. And the issues don't stop there. Unfortunately, in High Point this morning, part of South Main Street is closed because of a water main break as well. There, this is happening between Greenview Terrace and South University Parkway. We've been told that this is directing in this is heading in both of those directions between on Main Street. Those repairs are currently underway. It's not being told at this time, though, when that road will reopen. Also breaking news overnight, a boil water and conservation advisory is currently in effect for a town of Pilot Mountain. Officials issued this because of a water main break last night on the Highway 52 bypass. We've been told that crews fixed the line just after midnight, but officials say that homes and businesses still could be experiencing some periods of low or no water pressure at all. Pilot Mountain residents should boil water for one minute before using it, and this is going to include all of those things that you're seeing on your screen there drinking water, making ice, brushing your teeth, food preparation, and of course, washing dishes. That boil water notice will remain in effect until further notice. 604, another round of nationwide flight cancellations today. Southwest Airlines CEO is now apologizing for the travel mess following a winter storm that has left thousands of people stranded at airports. Flight Aware says Southwest has canceled more than 2,500 flights just today. That's on top of the nearly 2,700 yesterday and more than 2,300 tomorrow. Its CEO tells the Wall Street Journal Southwest will be operating at just a third of its flight schedule into the new year just to catch up. And that means some travelers will not be getting to their final final destinations until 2023. Clearly, we need to double down on our already existing plans to upgrade systems for these extreme circumstances. Canceling flights for four days until the first for everybody, it's really unfortunate. And the company is blaming the recent winter storm for getting flight crews out of place, but the head of the Southwest Pilots Association says the real culprit is the outdated scheduling software.